Jao Paulo talked about how we are transitioning from product to platform as SolidWorks and 3D ExperienceWorks provides more capabilities for users. Next, we'll hear from a couple of clients who have expanded their thinking to provide a complete experience to their customers. Let's start with the communications team at IKEA, who is transforming how they deliver assembly instructions with their iconic furniture. Hello, everyone. My name is Taco Van der Maan, Development and Operation IT Manager for IKEA Communication. Joining me today in this presentation are also David Anderson, Graphic Communicator for Package and Store Communication, and Anne Mansfeld, Package and Store Communication Manager. We will be talking about something that we guess is close to your heart, IKEA assembly instructions. That's right, because who doesn't love the experience of putting together IKEA products? But before we dive into that, let me give you a quick overview of what we do at IKEA Communications. We are responsible for producing the global communication content for IKEA. For example, range images, product pictures, and yes, of course, assembly instructions. We also produce the different brochures and buying guides that you find in stores and online. A lot of what we do is about creating inspiring and engaging communication and doing it in really high volumes. We can produce over 30,000 product pictures and over 70 product films per year. These are also the images that you find on IKEA.com when you click on the actual product. Think of all the products we have, the different materials, colors and so on. The way we can produce so many images is by using 3D with a heavily automated workflow. We produce approximately 3,000 new 3D models every year specifically for communication purposes and another 3,500 specifically for real-time needs. For instance, to use an IKEA Place AR app that you have hopefully been playing with at home. Okay, let's dive into our topic, assembling IKEA products. What is more important than having the right information and instructions? And this is also number games. We produce over 3,500 assembly instructions per year. And today we will take you behind the scenes of how we actually do it. As well, I share some of the challenges that come with the task. Over to you, David. Hey, I'm David, graphic communicator in the package and store communication team. You probably don't consider the product you buy from IKEA to be complete until it is assembled and ready to use. Also, for you to have a good experience of it, you need to be able to assemble it correctly and as easy as possible. The flag package is a big part of the IKEA idea. It has lower impact on the environment and results in lower costs both for IKEA and for the customer. That is why we need high quality assembly instructions. Creating an assembly instruction is like telling a story. It should be for the many and anyone should be able to successfully assemble the IKEA products by themselves. Here are some examples of the principles we always try to follow. It should start with something easy that gives the customer confidence and encourage them to continue the assembly. We also want to get the big pieces together quickly. It gives an, an idea of what the final result will be and is an instant reward to the customer. It's important to only show actions that are physically possible to perform and to take one piece at a time, step by step. So how do we do it? It starts with assembling a physical sample or prototype to figure out the best way to communicate the assembly to the customer. Then comes the digital assembly, which you can see me doing here using SOLIDWORKS Composer. Importing to SOLIDWORKS Composer is fairly easy. I can choose from different configurations in the assembly file, which makes the job smooth if there are different sizes of the product, for instance. Knowing how the assembly should be carried out I start by disassembling the CAD model, creating the assembly flow backwards. This makes it easy to reuse the views created. The transform tools in Composer help me to create the story I want to create. I need agile tools that quickly help me to redo views and create parallel stories, since this is a creative process. To produce a final document, I then save all views as vector files, which will be used in other softwares later in the process. The reasons for using vectors are many. First of all, I have to add other graphical elements in the final document, such as hand-drawn illustrations of people assembling, 
as well as our familiar assembly figure. File size is another key reason. We need to be able to scale illustrations for different formats, and since we produce documents in high volumes that may be printed with different conditions, it's important to always maintain image quality. But there is more. Creating a, a new product at IKEA is an iterative process with changes along the way. Also, IKEA constantly improves its products with new solutions that may affect the assembly instruction. So a big part of the work we do is updating existing assembly instructions. Therefore, we need to be able to refresh the composer file with new input data without losing the work already done. So what are our key challenges? Quality of vector. It needs to be really high to reduce post-production as much as possible. Leaving data. Source files are rarely final or complete. The tools need to be agile. Future media. While having printed assembly instructions in the box is a legal requirement in a lot of markets. The world is changing and our behaviors when it comes to how we consume communications are also changing. From our end, we need to be ready. How will this impact the work that we do with assembly instructions? What happens when new technology becomes available for the many? Will this mean that everyone will use AR or even VR? All we know is that we need to go digital in some way and that we need the right tools to support us in this. And now I'm handing over to Anna. Hello everyone. My name is Anna Mansfeldt and I'm the Package Store Communication Manager at IKEA Communications. I have a lot of responsibilities within IKEA, but uh, one of my most important assignments is the IKEA assembly instructions. And 3D models are a very important asset to the whole product development chain, up to the production of the communication that reaches us all the way to our end consumer. And the assembly instruction team is actually the first one to interact with the 3D model as part of the communication production. So therefore we ask ourselves, what if we could enrich the data to simplify the 3D productions downstreams? And what if we could make assembly instructions sustainable, caring for people and planet? And what if we could reach out to more of the many people? What if we could create mobile content and interactive assembly instructions? Today we create about 3,500 assembly instructions per year and all of them comes in different languages, 38 to be exact. So uh, let's not forget that we are creating volume-based communication here and we need to keep that in mind regardless of where our future vision will take us if we're going uh, digital, interactive or even personalized assembly instruction. So I would like you to take a look at these three pictures that you have in front of you and just imagine as an example that you are being able to create personalized assembly instruction based upon the product that you just bought and only for those. That would be pretty amazing, wouldn't it? But of course, today we do not know consumers of tomorrow and who they will be. But uh, all we do know is that we want to ease the assembly instruction process and we want to make it fun. And we want to make it exciting. In order for us to go on this journey, we need to have partners to work with us. And so that's why I'm asking who wants to join us in taking assembly instruction to the next level. I would, on behalf of IKEA Communications, say a big thank you to all of you that has taken your time listening to our story and hearing our vision. Thank you. <laughs>